new offline and online navigation app with Waypoints and it's free. Hello, I'm Janet. Have you ever found yourself in this situation? You're at the most important part of your route. You've got a diversion sign facing you and you're right on the fold of the map. I don't rely on the sat nav, it sends us everywhere. There really must be something better out there, Ian, to help us. I'm Ian. Today we are going to show you how to plan a route to a caravan site using a sat nav system, even when you're advised not to use one. This is a good example of a caravan site where sat nav causes problems. Janet and I visited Caradale Bay Caravan Site in Scotland last year, a beautiful site with stunning views across the bay to the Isle of Arran. We drove up from the north of England through Glasgow and can confirm that our Land Rover Satnav would have sent us down a narrow single track road on the east side of the peninsula when the best route for towing a caravan is down the west side to Campbelltown, then back up the east side to Caradale Bay. I am going to use Google Maps to demonstrate how most sat-navs are programmed. They usually look for the quickest, the shortest or the most economic route between two points on the map. It's a shame, but I've never seen a category marked for the safest route. But what's safe for a car driver isn't the same as what's safe for a heavy goods vehicle or for a caravan driver. So we need to educate these programs and Google has some wonderful tools to make a reconnaissance of the route beforehand. Just as we will be doing with the Android app I'll be showing you. I have entered route from Penrith to Caradale Bay and I took off the ferry option I would have ended up going by way of the Isle of Arran. We are being routed down the east side of the Kintyre Peninsula, a single track road not suitable for caravans. I have also noticed there is a problem here. The route is taking a shortcut off the A road because it thinks it is more economic and shorter. But it is a single track road unsuitable for large vehicles. I am going to drop down onto the road on Google Maps to show you. We'll look at the A road next. I know which road I'd rather be on and I'm dragging the route to follow it. Now let's look at the next part of the route. Caradale Bay Caravan Park advised us to drive down the western side of the Kintia Peninsula. I will move it across by dragging this waypoint. Now I need to drag another waypoint. We are going through Campbelltown on a B road. Let's take a look at this by dropping down on this road. It's wide enough. I could look for a better way through Campbelltown if I didn't like this route. Now we understand the area we need to find a sat nav system. I will demonstrate it on my Android tablet. This is the app we're using today. I have already downloaded it. It's made by Signig. I will open it. If you have an iPhone or an iPad, Signig 
make satellite apps for your system. It's easy to zoom down and add a starting point. I will start the journey from Penrith. I could alternatively have used my present position, but I am showing you that you can plan trips in advance using this method. Then save them in the Favourites tab. My finger is on the tablet screen and a destination point will be added where my finger is. I have scrolled up using touch gestures from the bottom of the screen to open this window. I have chosen to set this as a starting point. Now I need to find the destination. So I will scroll out and move to the Kintyre Peninsula. I could enter the postal address, but in a rural area, postal addresses cover regions and it is not always accurate. I like to identify the exact destination and because earlier I made a reconnaissance of it in Google Maps, I know exactly where it is. This is Google Map. I can see the caravan site and the access road. The distinctive bay and the access road make it easy to place the end marker. Again, I touch the screen and the end mark appears, but it zooms out so I will scroll back in. Just as Google's Maps had taken the route down the east side, this satnav has done the same. No problems, by touching the screen again, I will drop on a waypoint on the west side of the Kintyre Peninsula on the air road I want to be on. Now I will study the route through Campbelltown. It's the same as Google Maps chose earlier. Yes, I am happy with it. Now I'll look for the shortcut that Google Maps made at Tarbat. The route has the same problem. So I need to change it to follow the A road with a waypoint. If you keep contact with the screen, you can move the waypoint around. I will zoom back to check and yes, the route has moved onto the A road, avoiding that single track road we saw earlier on Google Maps. Once we are happy with the route, we can preview it. After 200 yards, at the roundabout, take the first exit. The control bar can increase the speed of the preview. Take the first exit. Take the second exit. Take the second exit. We will see Penrith at 198 miles per hour. Please follow the route for two miles. The national speed limit is about to change from 30 to 60 miles an hour. After 600 yards, at the roundabout, take the first exit. After 200 yards, at the roundabout, take the third exit. Please follow the route for 110 miles. There's a wealth of information on this screen. It's telling us that we stay on this road for 109 miles, that in six and a half miles we can get petrol, in 17 miles we can park, we can stop and eat in 19 miles and we can buy petrol in 19 miles. Plus minus circle allows us to change from the 3D to 2D maps. And the exclamation symbol at the bottom left hand side of the screen, so long as you're connected to the internet, gives you information on speed cameras, on the police, on traffic, on any accidents, 
any roads that are closed and any school zones that are on your route. Then we have the estimated journey time, the estimated time of arrival and the distance to our destination. The speed limit of the road we're on and the simulation speed and the simulation controls. Then by tapping on these three dots we're taken into another screen. You can turn the sound on or off, cancel your route, use your device as a dash cam while you're driving along using the map, you can switch to walking mode, you can use real-time navigation, you can use your device as a head-up display and in the route information you can use the favourite symbol to save your route. Now if I scroll in from the left there are more settings. I am not going to go through them all but this app has maps stored for offline use in here. I have notifications of an update for the UK map I have installed, all free of charge. There's even a setting for this app to remember where you've parked your car. Now you know how this free app works and we know we can easily program a safe custom route for a caravan or a motorhome using waypoints. We can even amend the route in real time by adding another waypoint, for example if we are diverted or deleting one to prevent the sat-nav from doubling back on the route if we have passed the waypoint in the diversion. With diversions I like using the tablet in 2D map mode until we are back on route, just as you would with a map. Zoom out to take in the overview of the route, zoom in for detail, but always know where you are so the navigator is always in control. I like this app, but will Janet? Time for a test drive. So we're going to choose to open the app. And I don't want to continue with the route, so I'm going to start a new route. That's where we are. I'm going to choose to go... We're in Sun Street. We want to go up Garden Terrace. Yeah, right, OK. And we're going to end up going into this street here. So I'll hold the map touch the map. I'll get directions to there. I've got several choices and I'm going to make yeah. this app take this choice and I'm going to tell it to start and if I pass that to you Is it telling us to go, Janet? Right. Turn right, then take the third right. Third right. So. Take the third right, then turn left. So that's it. It's your first right. in a small back street as a turn which I suppose it is. After a hundred yards turn left. Hundred yards turn left. So is it the next left? It is, turn it's this left. one. destination. Right. 
So what do you think of it? I think it's very good, Ian. I think you've made a very nice choice, yeah. I think it... Uh, Works well. It's going to work well. Good. Your support is very important to us. If you would like to subscribe to our channel, Useful Wisdom, please click the kite icon here. We also have a playlist, and if you would like to watch more of our videos, please click the icon here. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.